hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel let's review some perfumes which i got in my last haul first off is this perfume from Asdaf. unfortunately i cannot pronounce the name because when i do pronounce the name it sounds like this and this anyway moving on this purchase was influenced by a picture of the fragrance i saw on the web it looked like a ceramic china and i was immediately intrigued it was given dolce and gabbana light blue summer vibes i mean the bottle and i quickly hopped on it sadly this is just a metallic plaque on glass bottle this opens powdery sugary sweet and effervescent like champagne it's giving bubble gum fizzy apple juice with loads of florals from probably jasmine you don't have to wait too long before the woody medicinal component of baccarat 540 kicks in and lingers for the major part of the perfume's longevity in summary, I will call this a bubble gummy, fruity, juicy, floral thick on Baccarat Rouge 540. Okay, moving on. Up next is this perfume from Maison Alhambra. This is Reina Porfem. I bought this bottle, this perfume immediately I saw like the bottle. The bottle was screaming perfumes the Mali Zoriana and I just had to get it. Because Latafas and Sam Gold is making the rounds currently and that perfume is also said to be a dupe of perfumes the Mali Zoriana. Unfortunately, Latafas and Sam Gold is like 13,000 Naira where I live, while this one is like 6,000 Naira. So I went ahead and I purchased this one. Fortunately, someone on Reddit has confirmed that this is actually a good dupe of perfume the Mali Zoriana. This is a super soapy plasticky scent and it stays so till the perfume fizzles out. It is also somewhat spicy, musky, fruity and powdery. I get a soapy plasticky orange blossom in the opening that reminds me a lot of La Vie et Belle Eclat and La Vie et Belle Intense Mint. Sometimes this perfume smells like licorice infused lemon baked goodies aka pink sugar and sometimes when the what and sometimes when what I suspect to be raspberry kicks in, I get a lot of Mosuf Wadi, which is supposed to be like a dupe of Angel Nova by Thierry Nubna. This perfume is not giving what I expected it to give. And I'm hoping that in two months time, it would like, you know, start giving me something really to work with. Because right now, it's just giving me soap and plastic as the major vibe from the perfume really. And I don't, I don't, I don't vibe with that to be honest. So let's wait two months and see how well these changes hopefully for the better moving on so up next what i have here is al dirham limited edition by art azafran i've been wanting to get this scent for quite a while now but after watching thomas linsen's review where he compared this with mitzkal also by art azafran he said that both perfumes are kind of like the same is it scent profile or genre and he, he feels you don't need one if you have the other one so i skipped it but recently aromatics has been hyping this as a very very good alternative to chanel's earlier home spots and i've been dying to try that perfume so i went ahead and got this sadly this was a letdown for me not it smells nice but based on this type of scent that i like to wear i might have to like grow into wearing this perfume because it's just not my regular type of scent if you get what i mean this is a fresh, spicy, herbal, aquatic, woody, citrusy perfume with loads of pineapple in the opening. It reminds me a lot of Aventos by Fragrance World without the pineapple overdose. The astringent herbal vibes also screams autobiography supernova by Paris Corner. Herbal scents, especially when they are at this level of herbal, are just not my thing at all. Performance isn't great compared to what most reviewers have said, but hopefully things will change after two months. I did get a loud compliment when wearing this scent, but unfortunately on that day, I also had on five sprays of um, Latafa's Ishq Ashuk Good, which is supposed to be a dip of Rosendo Mateo's number five. So I don't know whether the compliment was coming from Aldirham limited edition or from Latafa's Ishq Ashuk Good. But then again, I think it was coming from Aldirham because I went really, I went like crazy on the spray that day because like I said, the performance is not that great. Anyway, after two months, I will test it again and see whether I get the same level of compliments or not. Another thing to note, in the packaging of this perfume, you also get like a tiny, what's it called, um, sample right here in the box. So it's kind of like, if you, don't, if you don't vibe with the perfume really well, you can try the sample and if the sample doesn't work out for you, you can go ahead to like sell the main bottle itself. Moving on. 
Up next is Niche Royal Rouge by Maison Alhambra. This is supposed to be a dupe of Armani Privé's Rouge Malakit. I've had the perfume oil for the longest time and it is a beast. I actually bought this out of curiosity to see if it was actually duping Rouge Malakit and it is, though the perfume oil beats it totally in performance. This opens bitter, sweet, woodsy and powdery with lots of jasmine. I hardly get to be rose from this to be honest. After say 10 to 15 minutes, the bitterness recedes and the sweetness increases slightly. The dry down for this perfume is sweet, airy, rosy, spicy and ambery and it reminds me a lot of Narcotic Flower by Maison Alhambra. Performance for this perfume right now, to be honest, is quite good. It's not bad at all. I get like 2 hours of active projection and 9 hours of longevity on my skin. Siage is to die for in the sense that when I walk out of a room and walk back into that room after say like 3 to 5 minutes, I can smell the perfume hanging in the air even up to the fourth hour. Siage on point. The last perfume that I have here is Niche Royale Vet and this is supposed to be a dupe of Amani Privé's Vet Malakit. And I have to say that this actually smells a bit similar to Amani Privé's Rouge Malakit but there are some differences with the perfume. This opens creamy, lactonic, sweet, woodsy with some jasmine and a lot of tuberose. This is heavy on the tuberose in the sense that it reminds me a lot of Amani's My Way. I also do get some vanilla and citrus in here and it gets a teeny bit smoky as well. In summary, I would say this is a fresh, creamy, citrusy, part green forward rouge malakit. I got a compliment while wearing this perfume, though strangely she said I smelled like roses. Let's see what happens after two months. So in a nutshell, these are the perfumes that I just got in my last haul. I hope to revisit these perfumes after two months and I will update you guys on the longevity, performance and scent profile, into scent profile changes or not. The updates will be in the pinned comments down in the comment section below. Don't forget to please like, share, subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.